2022 was a great year for the Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria in their bid to achieving affordable housing for Nigerians. It was indeed a milestone of achievement. So on this week's edition, we are going to be bringing to you recaps of some of the activities that was held by the Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria in the year 2022. But before then, let's go on a short break. So sit back, relax, don't go nowhere. My name is Patience Okai, your host. To improve transparency and accountability in managing the NHF funds, Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria has introduced Start 219 Hash. Start 219 Hash is a new way to know the status of your NHF contribution from anywhere. To use this service, dial Start 219 Hash. Select 1 to update your contact detail. Press 2 to check your contribution status in any month up to the last 5 years. You can also use our mortgage calculator and bulletin board by selecting options 5 and 6 respectively. You can access other services by using direct shot codes like star 219 star 3 hash to retrieve your NHF number, star 219 star 4 star 1 hash to check your last 5 transactions, and star 219 star 4 star 2 hash to check your statement of account. No internet connection required and it is available on all networks. Star 219 hash. Simpler, smarter, faster. Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria. Everyone deserves a home. All right, welcome back to FMBN Podcast. As FMBN Podcast is proudly brought to you by the Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria here on 7FM TV. First, it was some of the beneficiaries, developers, and management of the Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria in a strategic session reviewing the achievements and commitment. And trust me, the beneficiaries shared their joyful experience. <laughs> Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria, FMBN, held her customer service week on the 3rd to 7th October 2022. The purpose is to celebrate their customers and get feedback from them. The gathering reach was more of an interactive session between the bank and their beneficiaries had in attendance top management staff of the bank as well as developers, beneficiaries and off-takers. The executive director, Kingsley Chukuma, business development and portfolio management, while acknowledging the stakeholders, charged them on the need to take actions that would foster the goal of the organization. It's not uh, by mistake that you people are here. We have resumed this place, and uh, he made mention about we resuming almost seven months now, which I feel a lot of things has to change. And we're also working very seriously towards that. And if you look very well, like they say, customers are always right. And that's why you are here. We want to hear from you, we want to see a lot of changes ahead, and not only that, it has to be implemented. We need to enforce a lot of things. We have seen a lot in the past uh, six, seven months, which a lot of them has actually come to our table and they have been addressed, and uh, we feel that what is left now is to action which is what we are actually looking at. The developers, while expressing their enthusiasm, thanked the management of the bank for the good work of providing housing for Nigerians and making the process easy and accessible. I appreciate what the people have done. You have shortened the time for so many things, like disbursements now. I remember um, the early times, you know, it will take up to a year from one certificate to the other to be honored. But the process that you people have created now is quite fast and is appreciated by the developers. We just got, you know, an approval at the time, you know, the new man um, management and board, you know, came on board. So at the time, uh, we were quite apprehensive that, you know, maybe that will cause a lot of delay and maybe even our project, you know, uh, delay, you know, in execution. 
But incidentally, just like my senior colleague mentioned here, uh, it was seamless. You know, we've moved our project, and like the EDU mentioned in his uh, remarks, we have the opportunity of uh, meeting the management even last week, which is not something that commonly happens. You know, for you to see the the management visiting the project, which is a lot of encouragement, even on our own part. That all the developers, it's easier now for us to uh, talk to the obstacles, build houses, and they will be able to clean. Then again, um, processing of the loan is seamless. Before it takes time for the loan to come out, but now it's very easy. Once the um, obstacle or the developer is able to put up the documentation together. Right away, we'll get, uh, the person will get uh, approval. So I want to thank FMBM management for doing that because it's making what we are doing as developers to be easy. Yes, especially uh, cost of fund and some other, other things. Because if you build and nobody is buying the property, it's a very big uh, challenge. They, however, encouraged the bank to do more while raising concern over funded estates. Many of the customers appreciated the bank for such opportunities while also raising concerns on the need to get more Nigerians aware of the products of the bank. We really still have uh, enough to do, especially in civil service. Me, I'm a civil servant. And uh, you know, I always look up for us to save for a project like this. We really have to do a lot. I've been talking to my colleagues, it's been like, so difficult because they are so scared of the loans. They are so scared of going into projects. They prefer to go to Asket, but I want to tell you, it's not the best. Because as you grow old, you find it difficult in staying in Asket and difficult to get into to your offices. But as you subscribe to this, it makes life more easier for us. And I want to say, much more of advertisement in this level, the locator, especially the new people, the new entrants into the service. Because you catch them young, and they will be able to do much better before they retire. Mm -hmm. Not that when it's becoming coming or two, three years to go, you are not just running a task It will no longer be like that. It takes us a lot to convince members to key into this wonderful project. When you hear rent to own, and the people, it was like a magic. Until I paid, delivered that first 32 set of the house, nobody believed. They were like, we went to go in Nigeria, it can't happen. Because we've heard of federal government projects in housing, the one they call, is it meat or fish? How it went. I don't want to go into that. <laughs> and then, so if Federal Mortgage Bank, being a federal body, organization can I wish they can relate to the federal I mean the head of service and introduce this kind of laudable project into the system it will be well applauded then I can start back and say you are doing very well <laughs> and so far so good the idea is fantastic rent to own it means I am no, I can no longer I will no longer pay a lot to buy a house or access facilities I can pay the token and at the end of that own the house the session ended with lots of appreciations from both the bank, customers and developers. All right, at all the times, the Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria took to the street of Area 10, Abuja, to sensitize the people. It was an awesome experience. The Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria, FMBN, in carrying out its sensitization scheme, on Saturday visited UTC at Area 10, Abuja. The visit was to create awareness to the public on the products and benefits available within the bank. The awareness, which is usually on a quarterly basis, is a tour for the year. While addressing the residents, the branch manager, FCT1 of the bank, Mr. Abdulaziz Abubakar, spoke on the need of the action. Uh, it is a uh, well known fact that the informal sector form uh, at least, in fact, more than 70% of the Nigerian working population. And uh, what we have noticed is that uh, this subsector of Nigerian economy uh, 
are underrepresented in the ha national housing board. So we kept to exercise them on the benefit of the scheme and to let them know that the scheme is not only limited to Nigerian workers alone, those in the, in the informal sector, but equally to those in the informal sector is for all Nigerians. Speaking for the unit head mobilization, Mrs. Grace Dunamik also spoke on the need for the awareness. The sector is huge, so, and then the, we are trying to catch on those informal sector uh, workers to join the National Housing Fund scheme. So we are creating awareness today in uh, Area 10, uh, particularly UTC and the Mock Plaza, and we will enlighten them on the benefits of the National Housing Fund and how they can join the scheme. And the people appreciated the move and thanked the bank. Some of the residents were not left behind as they expressed enthusiasm and appreciation to FMBN. Okay. What I was told is that, uh, that you people are into mortgage, that if I, can, if, I, if I can get a house anywhere, that you people are ready to assist me based on, based on my contribution, that you open account with your people. Okay, so is this the first time you're hearing about the Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria? It's not the first time. Even I have a friend that I'm already got in a house in a airport with the Federal Mortgage Bank. Oh, you have a friend? Yes. So, uh, this, is, this is not the first time, but this one looks authentic. Okay, yes. this looks authentic. authentic. You came to our doorstep. You can see this is where we work. Wow. You understand? So this looks authentic to me. Me, I don't really believe before. But with what I'm seeing here and the awareness outside and by sharing of these flyers, it shows that this looks authentic. I will look forward to it. The awareness ended up in appreciation as the bank expressed satisfaction at the turnout and a response why residents were happy for the information brought to their doorsteps. And of course, rounding up the year was in a grand finale. Take a look at this. The Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria is celebrating their end of the year party today, 10th December 2022. And as you can see, there's a whole lot of activities that will be taking place here. And it's my duty to keep you updated in this event. My name is Patience Okai and you are watching 7FM TV. <laughs> And of course, that's the much we have for you on this week's edition of FMBN Podcast Recap. Let me know what you think about this on the comment section below. And thanks for joining us on this week's edition. Do well to join us next week for another interesting edition of the program. Of course, do well to follow us on all our social media handles at Instagram 7TV underscore NIG, Twitter 7TV underscore NIG, Facebook 7TV Nigeria, YouTube 7FM hyphen TV. And you can can also visit our website at www.7media.ng and do well to visit www.fmbn.gov.ng for more information yeah that's it of course till i come your way next week my name is patience okay stay blessed bye
Thank you.